Hello, and welcome to Heal Talk with Lisa. How are you? It's good to be with you today, isn't it? Well, as you see, my voice is a little bit different today because um, I have a little bit of a cold and I didn't even know if I could be with you today. But there is one thing I am very good at. It is being tenacious and committed to what it is that I promise. Because my promise every single Tuesday, the heel talks is not about me. It's about you. So my commitment is to you. And I welcome you to this session of heel talk with Lisa. So let us begin. What an incredible week this has been, hasn't it? So much is happening in our world. And in closing today, I'm going to take a few moments of doing about three to five minutes of mindfulness, meditation, and relaxation. And as I do, I will close it with a prayer for all the ones who have been a part of the Oklahoma uh, fire. And uh, now, today's session, as I said, it's going to be, the past doesn't matter. What used to be, it doesn't matter anymore. But what is it that we want to do so we can use what we want in our life to move forward and create the one thing that we want. This all came about because just yesterday we were doing our workshop for our scent and sensibility and as we were doing partner and suggestions someone said I want to go back to what it was. Well in life consciously and subconsciously as you know we store all that information in our subconscious mind, but we function consciously. So if we are auditory, we listen to things and words have an incredible impact on us. If we are visual, we remember a vision, we remember something. And when we picture it, we visualize it, we recall it, and it's right there in front of us. And the ones who are kinesthetic and touchy-feely, if they uh, smell something or they touch something, that's how they resonate. So that is how we communicate in life. Those are the three prominent uh, ways of communication. So when we say the word, I want to go back, like what it used to be, is going back to another time and a place. Now, if we are going back to another time and a place, what is the intention? How good was that time? If we think about something that it was awesome, well, it was awesome then. Did you, did you capture that awesomeness? Do you have that moment that it was so good that when you think about it, it's going to help you? If it is going to help you to bring forth and remember that time, how is it helping you? See, it's not only going back to another time and a place in our life. In hypnotherapy, we do. We take you to another time and a place that when some trauma or a change or a habit started, we take you to that place to modify it and change it and to make it better for you to understand why you did it, how you did it, how it benefited you, and then to modify it if it's no longer enhancing your life or you're not feeling good. But to go back to another time and a place, 
without knowing? Hmm, something to think about. I'll give you an example. When someone comes to me for weight loss, which I don't like the word loss, it makes me feel as if I've lost something, but it is to manage weight, either gain or drop. And they say, I've gained so much weight and I want to lose it. And I want to be size, let's say, eight. Okay, how about we want to be size eight, not go back to another time that you were size eight. Because if you were size eight and for whatever reason you could not maintain it or something happened in your life, let's just remember it. But we don't need to go back. In life, we only want to move forward. So we use what we have right now to go forward. As uh, General Colin Powell one time said, it's, it's one of his quotes that I love and I quote all the time. It's look in the windshield where you are going, not in your rear view in the car. So we look to see where we are as a perspective if there is a car too close to us or anything but that's not how we move forward we move forward by looking at the windshield through the windshield of our car to where is it that we are going got it so far are we are you are you with me so if it makes sense just say yes uh type something wherever you are uh, so that I know you're with me and no matter how many messages I get one of the things that I like to do is go back to respond to all of you and I will so as we move forward in life we must move forward thank you with an intention today I set the intention to be here now at 8 o'clock this morning, I felt miserable. I even canceled an appointment that I had for 10 o'clock because I did not believe I could function. I even had a luncheon that I canceled, and my God, I wanted to be with that person. But because there was a baby involved, I did not want to be next to that baby that I love so much, and you know who it is, and not kiss him. But why is it that I am here with you today, at this very moment, committed to my Heal Talk Tuesdays, is because all I had to do is know, and my body functions to what my mind desires and commands, just like sleep. If you cannot sleep, make sure you're not sitting up and counting sheep. Because as long as you are counting sheep, your mind is functioning and doing something. So it's not having time out to go into that realm of sleep mode and then drift into sleep. I will give you a technique so you can sleep better and deeper. But back again to how I made it through to this moment is the same way that I hypnotize myself and I have a root canal done with absolutely no anesthetic. It is called mind over matter. Yes, and why is it that I could not do mind over matter for 10 o'clock? Because my commitment to this hour has been set long time ago. And the other one I knew he can understand and meet me this afternoon or tomorrow morning. My precedence for this to you trumped everything else. So my mind and body came together to function and for the duration of this half an hour or 20 minutes for, how, for however long that I can last with my voice and guide you through that meditation is the promise that I made from here to here, from here 
to my body and my body responds. Yes, healing happens exactly like that. It is the emotional impact and the mindset that we have that we reset. Once we reset, the past doesn't matter anymore. But what it is that we want to create in our life, to make a reality in our life and move forward, the windshield, look through it and drive. The mindset that you have at this very moment, think about what it is in the past that has benefited you, that you would like to create for the good. And if there is something that no longer enhances your life, that it's not good for you, a habit, a behavior that you would like to modify and change, remember, we cannot delete anything from our subconscious mind, but we can edit and modify. Let me know, and I will be there for you to help you through that and guide you to make that change happen. Now, as we are sitting right here, become aware if you are sitting, the chair, the couch, no matter where you are, that it's holding your weight. Solid, feel comfortable, feel safe, good. Because if it was wobbling, you would get up and change it, right? Trust. Trusting where you are and becoming comfortable is one of the reasons we don't make the changes. We don't take risks to move forward in life because where we are, that comfort zone, feels okay. And no matter what we do, if we move forward, if the desire, the need, the want, the passion is not greater than where you are at this very moment, you will back, you revert to where you are. So, in order to make any change in our life, the pain, the hurt of where you are has to be really bad. Or the passion, the desire, the reward of what, where you want to go has to be greater than where you are at this moment, the comfort zone. To make a change in body, to make a change in habit. Know the past. It's acknowledging it. It's knowing and how I say it is to, it's not the embrace, but to acknowledge it and bring forth, bring to the reality, and then move forward, which is why I call it is to, oh, can you believe I'm lost with my own words of it's to evoke the past and embrace the present and then evolve to what it is you desire. Simply, that's what we do. If there is anything at this very moment you want to make it reality, you can type, hello Amy. You can type and say, this is what I want. And for the next 33 days, continue doing Moving forward, look through the windshield, do exactly the same thing over and over. No reverting. Do the same thing that you want to make that change and watch the change happen for you. In a moment, let us sit back if you are sitting. And as you are listening to the sound of my voice, Go ahead, become comfortable in your seat. 
become comfortable in your body. No matter what distractions there are outside, incorporate them with my voice. Incorporate them to how you feel at this very moment. And you may close your eyes so that you can listen to the words that impact you. And as it resonates with you, you can hold on to it. And any and all words that you do not resonate or need, you can let them go. As a matter of fact, I want you to know that so much of the past that you bring forth, remember it and let them go. You no longer need to hold on to the past, but move forward to what you desire, to what is your passion, to what is loving, to what feels good. First, as you evoke how you feel, become aware of how you can just give yourself permission to relax. Giving permission for your body to relax for the next few moments only. And take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, Release and let go. Let go of what was, good or bad, right or wrong, shame, guilt, hurt, giggles, good times, hugs. And as you exhale, know that you can drop it to the chair or to the floor and let Mother Earth hold it. Allow every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue in your body to relax. From the top of your head, every hair strand, your eyes, either open or closed, that you can see beyond what is and where you are. Visualize your heart's desire. Becoming more loving to what you see and what you create. Every scent, every smell, everything that you taste May it be sweeter. And every word that you utter from now on. Speak lovingly. First to your body. To yourself. The little girl, the little boy within. And no matter what was in the past, all the experiences... Remember, it is an experience. Even this very moment is an experience that you are learning how to modify, change, let go, and to become more connected to yourself. And as you breathe, Everything that you communicate, your throat chakra, the color of blue and communication. Make it clear. Be authentic. Be true to yourself. You know how sometimes we say, honestly, I would like to say, you know, I want to be true. 
There is no need to say that. Because if you are true, you speak it. You stand up for yourself and you speak your truth. And allow every nerve and every muscle that is relaxing now from your shoulders, all the weight that you have been carrying, all the weight that has been placed upon you, and the ones you took it upon yourself without knowing, you can drop it. Let it go from your shoulders, down to your arms, down to your hands, through your fingers, and let it all go down. Just as if they become extensions of you and send, release, zap it out, zap it out, let them go. And allow that wave of relaxation come all the way down to your stomach area, which is your core, which is where life begins, which is where you digest food. And if your stomach is upset, if there is any hurt and all the gut feeling, just send more love or place your other hand upon your tummy and very gently go in a very gentle circle, the circle of life on your abdominal area will calm every nerve. And you might even hear your tummy gurgle and thank you for this moment of relaxation, honoring. And as you exhale, release and drop all the tension from your hips that shift for you down to your sensuality, sexuality, honoring who you are. For it is not someone else to ha that has to validate you. Because you are beautiful, you are handsome, you are loving, and you are deserving. No matter your color, your race, no matter what your sexuality is, because it's just you. And then allow all that tension go down all the way from your legs, which is your pillars that you stand upon. And let it go down to your knees that bend for you. And all the way down to your feet that stand up for you. and send all the rest of the tension, the pain, the hurt, down to Mother Earth, the experiences of the past. And as you send it, just like circle of life, ask for more love, goodness, light, prosperity, joy, healing within to come from the infinity of the universe and God and as the white light protects you and shields you with this incredible invisible light that comes from above know that you are safe in your body you are safe within and you are safe right here. And this prayer is for the ones that we ask the universe and God to keep all the ones who have lost their lives either through sickness or accident to be loved and protected. 
in the arms of God, in the hub of the universe, and the families that are going through, may healing come to them as healing comes to you physically, emotionally, and mentally. And with this, let us create the best that we can be. Because healing happens within. Bless your heart. And until next week, until our next session, if there is anything I can help you with, let me know. Be well. Evoke the past. Embrace the present. Evolve to what is. Be good. Sleep well. You matter.